Grief Talk with Von Solis, The Clips. Uh, as we evolve, as we change, as we heal, it is necessary to go back and look at those things that we don't feel aligned with in our actions, our words, and our behavior. When we look at the uh, practice of self-forgiveness, a lot of people, um, starting with the fact that they don't really love themselves, uh, have a very, very difficult time forgiving themselves because the regrets, the failures, the guilt, the anger, the whatever else negative um, we're experiencing can run so deep. And, and sometimes we just don't even understand anymore why we're feeling all these negative feelings, or we never understood it to begin with. So forgiving the self really has to be rooted in a very, very clear understanding of what it is we want to forgive ourselves. A lot of people start with forgiving other people. It can be easier to feel hurt, rejected, abandoned by, betrayed by, and on any other uh, not loved by, a whole bunch of these things. It can, it can be really easy to feel that from other people and then take a big leap and a big step in our personal growth and go, well, I'm going to forgive them for that. But when it comes to taking the next step, of, well, are you going to be able to do that for yourself? Because, you know, a lot of those same feelings, if we're attracting that from other individuals and they've pained us to such a degree, right, we need to consider whether we're regarding ourselves in that same way. So when we look at uh, self-forgiveness and decide we're ready, we're ready. I can't take this anymore. I want a better life. I just want to toss all the negativity I don't want to feel this bad anymore. I don't want to be sick anymore. I don't want to feel vulnerable anymore. I don't want to feel weak anymore. I want to be strong. I want to live an authentic life. I want to align with who I know deep down I really am. And I want to go after those passions I'm so certain about. And even if I don't know specifically what they are, I know there's got to be more to living than the way I'm currently living today. That's one scenario. The other is uh, being in a situation or having an experience that could be loss, it could be trauma, it could be a relationship breakup, it could be a firing from a job, it could be financial difficulties or ruin, it could be any number of situations, one too many, that is, you know, almost going to topple us. And we decide, I don't want this anymore. But where do I start? Where do I start? How do I start to change? It's impossible. 